Hey guys, what's going on? Josh here from Polymathics. And today we're talking about hunger. Particularly, we're talking about hunger and how it relates to the cheetah totem. Now, if you guys haven't, um, if you're not familiar with my whole totem uh, series, basically what we do is we choose an animal that has a particular theme that we can learn, and that's called its totem, the animal archetype. And then we focus on that theme and see how we can apply it to different areas in our life. And so today we're looking at the cheetah and particularly we're looking at its hunger because when it comes down to it, hunger is what drives you, right? When you think about the cheetah, the cheetah has to eat to live. It can't drive up to McDonald's. It can't stroll by the supermarket. It has to make kills to live. And so if it doesn't make a kill, it gets hungry. And so there's a direct tie between its hunger and its survival. And the more that you think of that in terms of your goals, that in order to, to do that, you have to be hungry like a cheetah, the, the, better, the better off you are. Now, for some people, they, there are mainly two problems that, that we have, right? Too many people too often um, allow themselves to get in a situation that is just comfortable enough to prevent them from wanting to get out. So think of a marriage, right? A bad marriage. It's, it's not that the person is, is abusive or, or anything like that. It's just that you know that you're not happy with them and that they, they don't fulfill the needs that, that you have. But instead of being honest with them and yourself and going and trying to find the relationship that you are hungry for, instead, you stick around because they fulfill, they, they do just enough, just barely enough to get by. And that, that mediocrity that you're settling for plagues the rest of your relationship. Same thing goes with business, right? You're... You've always wanted to be a video game developer, or you've always wanted to be a writer, or you've always wanted to be an architect, but you realize that it would take a lot of work for you to get out of your McDonald's job or get out of your construction job in order to make the steps necessary to become an architect or a writer or video game developer, whatever it might be. And so instead of you know, taking all those steps, you decide that the money that you're getting now is good enough and later on, later on I'll do that. Anytime you say later on, not now, that means you're not hungry. Your survival in your mind does not depend on making that goal. So that leads into the second issue that people have um, is a lot of times your goals, the results, the outcomes, the dreams that you have aren't big enough. And that's why you're not hungry, right? If, if you say, well, I want to be a writer for a blog. Okay, that's okay, right? Anybody can do that. But if you said, I want to be a writer for the number one business blog in the world, and I want them to pay me X amount of dollars for every article I send in. Now that, that is a pretty good goal. Or one even bigger would be, I want to own, I want to be the creator of the number one business blog in the world. And I want to have 1 million subscribers or fans or whatever it may be, followers, right? That, my friend, is a, is a juicy, as Grant Cardone would say, it's a juicy goal. It's something you want to put your hands around and you just grab, right? It's not bony and little and tiny. It's juicy. And you just want to grab it like a, like a big freaking steak. And I mean, that is the kind of dream that you want to go after. And if your dreams aren't big enough, then you're never going to be hungry, right? You're always going to settle for the little pieces of candy that give you that instant gratification, but then leave you feeling 
drained rather than going after the home cooked meal that's going to sustain you for far longer and be better for your body and your life further down the road long-term solutions right you have to get hungry so what is it today to this is this is my question to you my final question as an action item what could you do today to when you're thinking about your dream your goal your outcome what is it right that that really makes you hungry about it are your goals big enough and if they are have you just been sliding by on whatever job or relationship that you have just because it's good enough and then you have to ask yourself is that the life that you want to settle for or are you worth more do you deserve it to both yourself and the people that you're surrounded by to to be the best that you can be and to reach your full potential are you hungry enough if you guys figure it out and you know what it is that you want drop a comment down below let it let me know let everybody else know you know it's ballsy but I dare you to do it and if if any of you guys have a question about this um, you know also feel free to ask questions down below okay I hope you guys um, whatever your dreams and projects and goals are I hope that you you are hungry for them and I hope that 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 if you are you continue with me down this video series where we talk more about the cheetah totem till then take it easy